Uh, this is a rather more uh, serious story. It had global ramifications. This is Darren Weir, uh, who was um, arrested and charged with all manner of things. But uh, essentially, the big takeaway this week is that the Australian racing authorities have acted very swiftly and have banned him immediately for four years in. Yes. Uh, reading bits and pieces about this, uh, the gentleman concerned has got quite a long uh, record of brushes with the Australian racing authorities. Mm. Um, the uh, main uh, thing that, uh, that uh, the, the raid that they um, mm. uh, had uh, discovered was, um, well, essentially cattle prods. Um, yeah, jiggers, jiggers they're called. <laughs> yes, yeah. Uh, so we're talking a cruelty issue here uh, and a welfare issue more than anything else as well. But this is a man who um, appears to have rewritten the record books uh, for Australian training and uh, well, certainly won't be doing so soon. I mean, the other, <laughs> the interesting from, from if you were an owner who had a horse there, it suddenly got a lot better. Now you've had to send it somewhere else. Is it any good? Ah, and if you yes. had one that was ran second to one of his. Uh, six months ago, were you on a level playing field? It opens a lot of lot of problems. A swift action from the authorities is always praised in these circumstances, though, Patrick, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, you'd like to think that four years should be a minimum of those. Things. Anything where those sorts of things, or the sort of you know doping, or you know uh, sort of uh, performance enhancing that sort of thing, there's got to be a very very big disincentive um, because you know the rewards can be massive. Mm. And so you know, frankly, if you don't have a situation whereby you know, the punishments are comparable with the rewards, then there's a risk, you know. And, and yeah. people are always trying to get an edge, all Some. the time. Yeah. yeah, and it's appalling because the problem is we all know that these are very isolated cases in racing, but people that aren't so familiar with our sport then might wonder mm. what else other people are doing. Mm -hmm. So you've just got to stamp on it straight away. It's absolutely unacceptable behaviour. And quite clearly, it's not just in this country where we're under the welfare microscope. No, in Australia, horse racing. You'd have, you have far more anti-horse racing protesters outside an Australian race course than you would here. Exactly. It, have, it has a global impact, and it's so important that the Australian authorities deal with it really quickly mm. and firmly.